What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel. Mike the Investor. Hope you are having a great day. Today is going to be a little bit different from the normal videos that I post. Today, I'm going to be sharing a new passive income source that I added to my net worth. If you haven't heard of it, it is called Worthy Peer Capital, and this is a company who sells private bonds. Now, I'm going to put some timestamps down in the comment section if you want to follow along or if you want to skip to some certain points of this video, because I'm going to share briefly just the portfolio, which I only have one bond, as you can see there. And then I'm going to go through just the setup process. If you're thinking about starting investing in bonds with Worthy Peer Capital, I'm going to show you from the startup screen all the way through to the end what it will look like setting up your account. Account. And then also I'm going to go through the fine print for the Worthy referral program as well. So I am not a spokesperson either by Worthy Peer Capital. I just think this is a pretty cool investment to get a flat 5% rate on your investment to not have it tied to the stock market. So as we look at the portfolio here, I have one bond and all of Worthy Peer Capital bonds will be $10. So you can purchase pretty much as much as you want. Um, I don't have any of the extra features enabled right now. You have your savings autopilot where we securely monitor your purchases and round them up to the next full dollar so it's like some of the roundup programs such as stash acorns and maybe some other investing apps out there that i may not know of so it's basically just like a roundup so it'll round up your money to the next full dollar and then once it gets to ten dollars it will invest or not per se invest but issue you a worthy bond so i only purchase one bond and this is what your portfolio will look like the platform so it's very simple it's not going to be hard to navigate or understand if you scroll over to where my interest is it is calculated every single day but it does take seven days for it to show up in the portfolio so total amount invested is ten dollars because i only own one bond and then they have a reoccurring investment feature that i will be turning on down the road as well right now i'm just trying to fill out the process and the platform and then recent transactions you scroll over the dollar market to show you i purchased six days ago august 4th 2019 so that's just the full breakdown of the portfolio very very simple very very easy to navigate through now if you're thinking about starting investing in bonds for another passive stream of income with worthy peer capital you're wanting to start this is how it will look from the beginning you go to the website worthypeercapital.com you will see the login or the sign up button once you enter your information there it will take you over to the next screen which you will create your individual account your first last name street address so forth and and so on then you have your tax information down at the bottom once you enter that information you will go over to select account type now they do have some different accounts which i think is pretty cool as well they have the individual type which is the account that i chose to go with they have the trust fund the ira the nonprofit, and then they have a business account that will be coming soon so this company is really thinking about the future instead of just thinking about what's happening now which is kind of cool as well to know that the company is not stagnant and then once you finish selecting the account that you decided you wanted to go with you will go over and pick how you want to verify your banking information now you have the micro deposit verification which takes two to three days normally and then you have the instant verification where you can just go ahead and connect your bank account and then you have to put in your bank info that you use with the current app or anything like that so i chose the instant verification my main bank account that i use is chase and chase verified it immediately so it just kind of depends on your bank and then once you verify Verify all of that it would take you over to this screen here where you can make your first initial investment and this is where I purchased my very first bond from worthy peer capital and I just purchased one bond as you can see down there it says JP Morgan Chase Bank now these are screenshots from when I did my startup process because I didn't know if it was going to show personal information or not but I also wanted to share this entire experience with all of my subscribers and the viewers as well so they know how the process is starting up so then once you click the buy bonds it would take you over to the peer capital portfolio portfolio once it loads up which is what i showed you at the very beginning and then however many bonds you have at that point it won't show bonds owned but it will show bonds pending until it goes through so it does take about five business days for that bond transfer to go through now i do want to give you kind of a heads up now it took five days for the bond to hit my full account but the ten dollars came out of my account within about three days so just kind of want to give you all a heads up if you are thinking about investing in worthy peer capital 
Now I will leave my referral link down in the description. If you are thinking about investing, you will get a issued $10 worthy bond, but I also wanna go over the fine print of the worthy referral program as well. And this was last updated December 19th, 2018. And this is coming right off of their website as well. And I'm not gonna read the second paragraph for referred new users. I'm just gonna read the very first paragraph because I don't wanna bore you guys. And then also I have it here so you can kind of read along or pause the screen and read it for yourself but referrals must be first time bond buyers only limit one free ten dollar bond per new user referred and new user must reach and maintain balance of at least 10 bonds or a hundred dollars for a six month period for a free bond to be awarded to the referral and in parentheses it says free bond will be awarded once referred account holder reaches the hundred dollar threshold but bond will be forfeited if new user balance falls below the $100 minimum account threshold within the six month period. So what that means is basically, if you were to use my link, you won't get your $10 bond until you have either $100 or 10 worthy bonds, which is the same in your account for equivalent of six months. And if you're investing in bonds, you're wanting to keep that money in there for at least, I'm guessing, a year to a few years anyway. So I don't think that would be pretty hard for people to do. So I'm guessing that's why they set it up that way. But also it says to be eligible for the reward, the person you refer must use your personal referral invitation link when they sign up. So make sure you use the link before you create an account if you want to be awarded that extra $10. This promotion cannot be combined with any other offer. Promotion terms subject to change without notice at any time and at the sale discretion of Worthy Peer Capital Incorporated. So I just kind of wanted to show you the Worthy Referral Program fine print so you all know what to expect if you do decide to use the link and once you start putting your link out there if you decide to use Worthy Peer Capital. And then one last thing, if you are still with me so far on this video, that means you are really curious on how to create another source of passive income for your net worth as well. So go ahead and smash that like button, not only for me, but for yourself as well. Also, let me know down in the comment section if this uh, video was very valuable to you. I also want to go over one last thing, which is some key points that I think you should want to know about worthy bonds and worthy peer capital. And these are just some key points. The first one is the SEC regulates worthy peer capital and qualifies their bonds. So the FDIC does not insure Worthy Peer Capital. And the reason why is because Worthy Peer Capital is not a bank institution, but they are regulated by Securities and Exchange Commission. Also, the next point is since their bonds are private, they are not sold by brokers and not necessarily rated because of this reason. The third point would be since they are sold privately, it allows Worthy Capital to sell their bonds at a more inexpensive rate instead of the typical $5,000 starting point for your normal corporate bonds. Also, selling bonds by brokers adds cost to the bondholders like myself and you. The main reason to sell by broker or public markets is for liquidity, but our bonds are total liquid. They can be redeemed at any time. And the last point is, since they are not sold by any markets or sold public, they are not subject to the volatility of the markets, which is nice to know because I love the stock market. It has completely changed my life, but it's also nice to have other passive income sources that's not in the stock market that won't be affected by those prices. I am not a bonds expert or anything like that. I would still highly recommend to do your own due diligence if you're thinking about investing in bonds, stocks, or anything like that. I just kind of want to share a couple key things that stood out to me and why it was enough information for me to go ahead and start investing in worthy peer capital. But don't forget to smash that like button if this video was valuable for you. If you are new to the channel and you like dividend investing, passive income, and saving money, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right now so you don't miss any more videos. Stay motivated, stay inspired. This is Mike the Investor, and I will see you guys back next time.